Good morning, everyone. Hi, Ali. Um, let me check if it's vertical here. Good morning, folks. Sorry about that. Hi, are we this morning? Um, it's Thursday morning here in the 10th of March, 9th of March, and the weather in Ireland is awful. We are weather warnings. We have had snow and ice. Uh, that's why my internet wasn't working last night. And to be honest, it's been not very good. But this morning, we're going to make ourselves a beef and broccoli stir fry. Um, and I'll just use this here for my lunch this afternoon. So it's, it is reheatable. Um, you can cook it. You can make it in advance. Uh, just now, folks, let me know where you're from. Don't be afraid to say hello. And of course, do let me know. Hi, how are you? I can cook. I can, you can cook, sorry. Good morning, how are you? Um, I hope you're having a good morning. So like I said, we're going to do broccoli and beef stir fry with onions, garlic, soy sauce, uh, oyster sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, and then we're gonna top it with some crunchy onions. So um, just give me a second there and I'll get some beef. <clears throat> so as you can see, I have a sirloin steak here. And to that, then I'm going to season it first of all. So we need some of our, I used to use aromat all-purpose seasoning and some salt and some pepper. So what we'll do is we'll take our steak, as you can see, and we'll just trim some of the fat off it because you don't want lumps of gristle. Now I have used uh, sirloin steak here, but you can use whichever you want, flank steak, or you can use, um, as I say, you can use the cheaper cuts of meat, you just have to cook them a little bit longer. And my dog loves this because he obviously gets the ends of it. So what we're going to do is cut your steak. As you can see, there's a grain on the steak. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut against the grain, and that will make your beef tender. Now, another little tip is if you put your beef into the freezer for about 20 minutes before you slice it, you can slice it much thinner, which makes a quicker uh, cooking time, and it also gives you a better connection with the pan. Now, I've just used my ordinary wok here. You can use a skillet or you can use a stainless steel wok. But if you're using a stainless steel wok, just make sure that you have it well oiled because yeah, the meat will stick to it. So what we'll do first is we're going to fry the beef off. I'll just put it into a bowl and then I'll season it. And then we will uh, take it, set it to the side. We'll do some onions and some broccoli, uh, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of ginger paste. And then we will uh, make our sauce up. So as I say, this is great for meal prep if you want to do this for during the week. Um, it's also a very healthy dish because there's very little oil in it. I just use a little bit of um, avocado oil, which has a high heat point. Yeah, the snow, it's, it's not snowing here, but it was snowing here yesterday. At the minute, we were just getting really heavy rain. And that was the problem I had last night because of the heavy rain. And I live in the country. It was um, the, the internet was terrible. So that's the worst about living out in the country. We'll just set that to the side and I'll just get myself a bowl. Make sure I clean my hands after eating the raw meat. So, just take a small bowl and we'll pop our meat into it. And then we'll season it with salt, pepper, some of the aromat, and we'll leave it sitting for a few minutes just. So, as you can see, just a little bit of seasoning over the top. Just get rid of this. The worst about doing live streams, as I normally say, is that you, um, you're sort of caught because you don't know. It's not like a video where you can edit it out. You have to do everything live. So, again, we'll seasoning in there. We'll just mix that around. And we'll let that sit for a minute or two while we get our wok warmed up. So put your wok onto a medium high heat. Um, I wouldn't go too high with it because you only want to sear it. Thank you very much for falling in. Um, you'll love Bray. Bray's lovely. There's plenty to do in it. You have the water parks and you have the aquarium. So you'll enjoy it. Um, it will be, be a nice time for you. At least there's a lovely time to come to Ireland. 
because everybody's, well, they're holiday, so they like to get themselves a few beers. So what we'll do is we'll go into this with a touch of sesame oil. Just put this over. And we'll just go in with a little touch of sesame oil and a little touch of avocado oil. I like to use avocado oil because of the high heat point. So it means that uh, your steak will brown better on the outside. So just in with the steak and hopefully you can hear that sizzle. Now, as I say, I have 250 grams of steak here. So I'm only making for two. But I will leave a description down below for what for four people. Um, I'll leave enough ingredients for four. So again, just make sure it's all touching the bottom of the pan. It only takes about a minute um, on each side, and then you can flip it over. So as you can hear now, so now while our beef's cooking, I'm going to cut, chop myself an onion. Just into slices. That, that, excuse, excuse that camera, camera that's, that's um, um, my, my webcam, webcam is not, not as good a quality, quality as, as the other, the other cameras. cameras. So we're just so going to slice an onion. onion. And we'll set that, that to the side. side. And again, and again slice, slice a couple, a couple of cloves of garlic. garlic. You can, you crush, can the crush the garlic in if you wish, wish, but I like mine in sort of little chunks. chunks. So the steak will be done on one, one side. side. Just have a look at this. It's starting to take on a little bit of colour. The quicker you cook this steak, the better it is. Um, it's not a, a long cooking process, it's only a short cooking because it's a stir fry. So everything should be cooked in about 10 or 15 minutes. So we have our onion and we have our garlic and we have some ginger, which I prepared earlier, and I have it sitting. So we're going to make up a little bit of a sauce for this as well. Just pop those over there. So I'll make up a cornstarch slurry for cornstarch. Um, just about one tea tablespoonful of corn flour and about a tablespoonful of water. I'll just give that a stir up. Take a cloth and wipe that down. Hi, Kaz. Hope you're good. I have an echo today, do I? I um, I don't know what's going on there. So we'll just get the beef off. Um, I don't know why the echo's here today because it's the same kitchen that I normally use. So we'll just take, and I have the mic up to my mouth, so. We'll just remove the beef from the pan. And don't be taking any of the uh, oil out of the bottom of the pan, that's all flavor. So now, we'll just change our camera angle. So into the pan, I'm going to go in with the onion. and the garlic and we're going to stir fry them for two to three minutes and we'll go in with the ginger as well so now for our sauce just a dash of oyster sauce about a tablespoonful
we have a dash of soy sauce. Again, I've used dark soy sauce, but um, thanks very much. I like the t-shirt as well. I'm all into my Marvel, um, Star Wars and Marvel and everything else. So as I say, your soy sauce, your sauce is pretty simple. I've just used oyster sauce and um, sesame oil, and I'm going to mix it up. Our soy sauce, oyster sauce, and sesame oil. We'll just mix it in with the garlic, and I'll use some beef stock to thin the sauce down a touch. So as you can see, the onion is starting to cook. So we're going to take our broccoli, and we'll just trim the broccoli florets. I have already washed this broccoli, so I'm just going to trim it into bite-sized pieces. And we'll just throw it in, because the broccoli takes about three or four minutes to steam, um, because you don't want it hard. Keep your broccoli stalks, you can put it into stock or you can trim it off and cut it down because it is, um, it's actually very tasty once you take the outer layer off it, you can cut it down and trim it into small slices. But I like to keep mine, I just use it when I'm making vegetable stock or chicken stock. I don't have two devices on, I have I only have my computer. The other one, I have my phone, but it's turned down, so I don't know what's causing it. I'm sure we'll sort something out. So we'll just move that over there out of the road. So I have chopping boards everywhere. So we'll just turn that up a touch, and we'll cook our broccoli off. I'll just get a lid. So now, this little trick that I have, I just add a little bit of beef stock to the bottom of the broccoli. Now you can use a stock cube or you can make homemade stock, whichever you think is best for yourself. Um, homemade stock is always better, but beef stock and it works out cheaper in the long run if you um, gather up your vegetables and gather up your beef bones. It also works out a whole lot cheaper. Just get my hands a rinse. So we have orange, we have onion, garlic, ginger, seasoning, broccoli in our pan. We have our steak already partly cooked. And we're just gonna give that a second or two. I have the sauce made up. And as I say, I'll make a little bit of corn flour story and I'll add some more beef stock to the uh, to the pan once I get it cooked. So folks, how are we? Um, how's the weather good? Yes, thanks very much, Kaz, for jumping in. Um, I have two devices open, but I'm not using, they're both on, um, there's no volume on. It must be the echo from the, I don't know if it's from the microphone or, hold on just a second, let's try this. There, I've muted that. Is that any better? It's snowing where you are. It's not snowing here. It's raining. It was snowing yesterday, but it's it's raining today. So as you can see there, folks, now it only takes two or three minutes now for the broccoli, and it's still crunchy, but it is starting to get cooked. So now we'll just go in with the um, a little bit more gravy, or stock, if you want to call it. We'll go back in with the beef. And we'll turn that up a touch. And we'll just let that cook for a second or two, and then we'll add the sauce to it. So as you can see, it's coming together. Like I said, this is a quick dish. If you want to come in, the echo's gone. Okay, because I turned off the camera, or the must have been my computer was giving me the echo. Because I pressed um, mute on it there. Sorry about that, folks. So as you can see, the beef is in. I'm just going to add the sauce. Like I said, it's a simple sauce. It's only oyster sauce and 
soy sauce, you can obviously go with, and as I say, there's sesame oil in the, in with it as well, just to give it that little bit of flavor. Now, um, I have a little bit of trick with mine at the end of my stir fry. I like to add some crunchy onions onto it. So I use these onions, they're called on it. Um, they're great if you can get them. So they are, let me just show you them. If you can get these here, they're great for burgers, they're great for on top of your stir fry. It just gives you that little bit of a crunch. So our sauce is there, our steak is cooked, the broccoli's cooked. We're just gonna thicken the sauce up with a little bit of corn flour. So just corn flour slurry, add about half of it in, don't add it all in at the once because you need to give yourself your sauce, it might just go too thick and keep moving it because if you don't, as I say, you'll get lumps in the middle. Now this is better than a takeout and to be honest with you, it's quicker than a takeout because you can do it and I mean I'm only online about 20 minutes and I have most of it cooked. Um, I'm not actually cooking my rice until later but I'll serve it with rice or maybe even with noodles. Just taste it for seasoning. Yep, um, it needs a little bit more oyster. So again, folks, just make it to your own how you how you like it. Um, I just, as I say, I thought that needed a little bit more oyster sauce, but. Again, cooking's all about everybody's different personal tastes. So folks, on Friday or tomorrow, I am, I'll be doing blueberry muffins. And then next week, I'll probably do something for St. Patrick's Day. So I just thought, I've done lots of main courses. So tomorrow, I just thought I would do a dessert or something. So I'm going to make blueberry muffins tomorrow. Um, freshly baked. So they should be a good one. And then next week, I'll probably do... I don't know, a Dublin Coddle or something like that there, and um, maybe on Wednesday night, I, I haven't decided yet, but I'll be doing some Irish cocktails next Friday night, probably Irish coffees and Irish car bombs and um, maybe a nutty Irish man as well, so I'll be cooking. Oh, you're all right. I know what it's like. I have... Um, Colitis, so I know what it's like. So don't, you won't put me off my food. It takes a lot to put me off my food. Um, like I said, I have colitis, so I don't. It doesn't bother me. So as you can see, that our sauce just isn't thick enough yet. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of the corn flour. Give that a quick stir around. And as you can see, the extra little bit of corn flour has just made it go so much thicker. It's probably a bit smoky, so I'll just take it off there for a second. And then I'll bring you. So it's like I said, folks, quicker than a Chinese, cheaper than a Chinese, and to be honest, a lot tastier than a Chinese. So just a little taste. Yep. I think, again, just a touch more soy. Now you can use light soy sauce or dark soy sauce. I also have one up in the cupboard that's called ketchup manis. It's like a sweet soy sauce. It's really good as well. We just give that a second to boil down and then it'll be done. So folks, thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, it's nearly simple. Yeah, next Friday, um, like I said, I'll be doing a few. I have a Barack Obama stew for the weekend which he was served whenever he came to visit here. Um, he opened up a petrol station in Tipperary, and they call it Barack Obama Plaza, but when he was here, he was given a chicken stew. So I have the video made for it, and I'll be um, probably putting it out on Saturday or Sunday, which will be great for people for St. Patrick's Day. I um, So that will be, that'll be one that's a little bit different from what people are used to. But like I said, Barack Obama was served it when he came. So I'll just let you have a look at this again. 
and then we'll get a little bowl and we'll pop it into the bowl. Oh, Jesus, I nearly lost it. See, that's the worst about live cooking. So as you can see, the sauce is thick. It's tasty. The broccoli is well cooked. Just pop that there. And as I say, a little bit of these onions on top of it. Yeah, I've had um, I've had it for years now. So um, as I know what you're going through, the pain can be awful. We just drop a few of those onions on top. Um, and I'll let you see this. There you go, folks. As I say, I'm not doing any rice with mine at the minute. I'll do it. This is for later on. Um, and as I say, 20 minutes, start to finish, quicker than your Chinese, cheaper than your Chinese, and much tastier and healthier than your Chinese. Because if you get a Chinese, it's full of oil, full of they just make loads and loads of oil so folks like i say thank you very much for watching um as i say this was a quick one and as on tomorrow or tomorrow evening i'm going to make blueberry muffins and i might do actually some soda foils and potato bread next week as well because with it being st patrick's day i think everybody wants to get in on the recipes so like i said i'll um say goodbye let you get on with your morning and that's just another idea for you for if you want to make something so folks, thanks very much for joining me and I will talk to you soon and I hope you have a great weekend.